Aloha, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. My name is Master Paul. I'm honored to be with you here today. Today is December 13, 2016, and I'm honored to be a worldwide representative of Dr. and Master Ji Gong Sha. I am at Dr. and Master Sha's Tao Healing Center today in Honolulu, and it's always a pleasure to be here one time a week that they allow me to do the live streams from here as the center is always quite busy and this happens to be a little bit of a lull time at the center so I am blessed that I can be in this high energy field even as we speak there are very special calligraphies being placed uh, around this presentation area to create a high energy healing field and so today we will invite all the holy beings here at this temple uh, to come to service so we're very blessed that I can uh, serve you <coughs> through doing a live stream from Master Shah's Tao Healing Center. There are actually five Tao Healing Centers on the planet today. Uh, they're spread out. We just recently opened a sixth one in Australia. And so if you know anybody down there in the Sydney area, uh, we absolutely have this wisdom teaching healings and blessings in that area as well. So I've been looking forward to today. Today is day two of five days of a series in which we're focusing on releasing the blockages that keep us from having abundance in every aspect of our life. And most of us have blockages in some area of our life. <clears throat> and we tend to approach the mindset of abundance and its associations with finances. But it is impacts us in other areas because when we don't have abundance for example in our relationships it impacts our finances when we don't have abundance in finances you know it impacts your relationships and so there's different ways that abundance can impact us if we are not balanced in every area of our life <clears throat> and so today we'll be moving into another area uh, yesterday I did focus exclusively on financial abundance so if you missed that, make sure you come to my Facebook page and uh, scroll back through the couple of them and you will be able to see the, uh, the wisdom teachings and the blessings that occurred for yesterday. Today I'm going to go back into financial abundance a little bit and then we're going to move into a different area of abundance and work with some blockages there as well. <clears throat> so we've got quite a few people joining us already. Welcome Chelsea and welcome uh, Tammy Hunter. Welcome, Kathy. Good to see Lisa and Sarah Penton. Thanks for joining today. Jean, great to see you and your daughter. Lori. Welcome, CJ. Welcome, Linda Jansen and Jenny Brown. Hi. And Tawana. And so as more people join today, we will have uh, that many more souls present. So... We are, as indicated in Master Shah's Tao Healing Temple, one of the unique things about being in a healing field, which this is, is literally just by being in this space, uh, there's, uh, uh, you're surrounded by heaven's frequencies. Tonight we'll be focusing on the love, peace, harmony, chanting for world peace. And we have masters from all over the world come in and we bring them in and we, we see in the show. And the uh, past couple of times we've had Germany, and so we sing love, peace, and harmony in the German language. We also have often sing it in Thai because I sing that in Thai, uh, Japanese, uh, of course English, Hawaiian, Mandarin Chinese, and when other masters call in, we might sing it in uh, other languages as well. We have had some Indian masters join us, and we've been able to sing it in one of their many dialects. <coughs> um, so I encourage you to join the Love, Peace, Harmony uh, Healing Evening because it is healing and it is a service. One of the subjects that came up yesterday as an aspect of the uh, transformation of our blockages around abundance is a recognition that if you're one of those that no matter how hard you work, no matter what you do, you just can't seem to get your head above water, then that's very reflective of high levels of financial karma. And so <clears throat> one of the keys, uh, aside from the obvious, which is love and forgiveness, is a recognition that you do not have enough virtue in your virtue bank. And so we did some practices around that yesterday, and we did some recognitions around that. And I'm going to tie that into tonight's chanting. 
When we chant love, peace, and harmony, we, we set aside a three-hour gap of time, and we do, go for 20, 25 minutes chanting the different languages, and then we stop, and we do what's called soul readings and third eye readings, where we're, we're getting images and messages from the soul world as to the impact our chanting is having. Um, sometimes we're chanting for the different nations of the nationality that we're chanting. Uh, sometimes we're chanting for very specific things, like the, the safety of the islands or um, some particular area in the world. Uh, so it's actually very insightful to receive the soul readings and the third eye images of what is actually happening when we chant this most uh, incredible and powerful soul song. So I invite you to join us tonight. And you can do that by going to uh, drshaw.com and clicking on the word events. It's one of the top uh, choices, events. And then just uh, choose Hawaii. You'll, you'll find how to choose Hawaii. And scroll through our stuff, and you'll see today's, which is Chanting Love, Peace, and Harmony. And then just, you'll get an email and follow those instructions in the email. <clears throat> but by joining us and chanting, what in essence you're doing is you're putting virtue in your virtue account. You don't do this to receive virtue. It's a natural side effect of your service. It's a natural side effect of your desire to serve others. And when you are unconditional in that service, heaven offers you unconditional virtue. It is that virtue that if it is offered unconditionally, that is what offsets the spiritual debt. It is the spiritual debt that is the source of our blockages with abundance. And spiritual debt is bad karma. And so how do we offset it? Good karma, very simple. So chanting is really key to that, and chanting to serve others is one of the most important keys. And when you do that in a group, at a location like Master Shah's Tao Healing Center, which has countless holy beings, countless heavens animals, countless layers of, of temples and divine Tao, source, just the, the heavenly beings that are here are, are extraordinary. Just come in one or two nights, and you'll, you'll get a good grip on that. And by chanting with the people in the room and the people online, which, which is somewhere between 40 and 60, plus the billions of saints and holy beings, if you don't feel good at the end of those three hours, then I, you, you need to let me know because there's definitely something going wrong uh, with, with, uh, <laughs> with you at that point. Because after three hours of chanting to serve others, most of the people are floating on cloud nine because uh, the frequencies are so high, some people actually get knocked out. So I encourage you to take advantage of that. So let's acknowledge who else has joined us. Welcome Richard Amodia, coming in from Thailand. Welcome Kristen Strachan, welcome Kristen Rojas and Pat. Uh, a lot of the Caribbean joining us today. <clears throat> welcome Carol Whitney, uh, Monica coming in from Canada. Welcome Brooke and Stephanie coming in from Wyoming. Tatiana, welcome Florida and welcome Esther as well. And again, uh, coming in from the BC side of Canada. As you can tell, this is a worldwide um, live stream. And that's what, that's what I'm here to do, is to serve the world. And that's what Master Shah is here to do, is to serve the world. And the highest and best way we can do that is by serving together. So let us connect heart to heart, soul to soul first. Um, if you wouldn't mind hitting your share button, I would deeply appreciate that. And in the meantime, we're going to go ahead and connect. <clears throat> we'll invite in all the holy beings that are <laughs> already present since we're in Master Shah's temple. Um, close your eyes. Dear Divine, dear the Tao, dear the Source, all beings of the light side, including all stars, planets, galaxies, and universes, they're the souls of all angels, healing angels, archangels, the soul of all Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, Masters and Ascendant Masters, Beloved Master Jesus, Beloved Mother Mary, Beloved Kuan Yin, Da Shi Jir Pu Sa, Beloved Amitofu, Beloved Medicine Buddha, Happy Buddha, Money Buddha, Dear the soul of uh, Ganesh, Dear the soul of all beings of light, Healing uh, angels, archangels, The soul of our individuals, heavens, teams, guides, angels, and saints. We love you, honor you, respect you, I bow down to you. To the soul of Master Shah's Tao Healing Center here in Honolulu, the, all the holy beings that are present here, the soul of all the calligraphies in this room, and the countless blessings in the calligraphies, in the books, uh, and at this temple. I love you, honor you, respect you, and again, I bow down to you. I invite you, 
in whatever way is most appropriate for your presence at this time. And I ask you to subdivide, share your love, your blessings, your soul power with everybody that's watching at this time. Go to their heart centers, sit in their heart centers, bless them to release the blockages to abundance in every aspect of their life. Guide me in my teaching wisdom and blessings today that I might offer the highest, best, most valuable wisdom, guidance, and insights that we can all receive the, the best that we can get. Please guide the blessings so that we can clear our blockages as quickly as possible. We ask the source soul song of love, peace, and harmony transmitted to all souls in all universes <clears throat> to please join us at this time. And we invite all souls in all universes to turn on this source soul song and to chant with us. For those that are new, I'm very grateful that you're here. Please receive this blessing as we chant. Everybody else, please join in. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Woi I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace and harmony lula lula li lula lula la li lula lula li lula lula li lula Lula, li, lula. Wo ai wo xin her ling. Wo ai tren ren li. Wang li hing rong her mu shi shang. Shuang ai ping an xie. Shuang ai ping. On her say, I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace. And harmony. How, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. So for those that are not familiar with this Source Soul Song, that is called the Source Soul Song of Love, Peace and Harmony. It's currently translated in well over 30 languages. And it is sung in different countries around the world. The purpose is to bring love, peace and harmony to all souls. And it can literally be as simple as one song. Uh, one of the hardest things to comprehend is that world peace literally can be as simple as everybody being on the same page and the same frequency. And that was the purpose of this song. It's called the Divine Soul Song because it was received uh, from the Divine approximately 16 years ago when one of Master Shah's students asked him, Dear Master Shah, can you please ask the Divine for a song that reflects our mission to serve humanity? And he said, I'm happy to. And he received the words, Lula, Lula, Li, Lula, Lula, Lali. He understood that was soul language, 
language of the soul world. And so he asked, can I please have a translation in my Mandarin Chinese language? And he received that translation. And as the students were writing it down, he said, now let me translate it to English. And it came out to, I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. And then one student asked, you know, that's it's a beautiful song, Master Shah, but how do we sing it? Is there a, is there a, a rhythm or a melody? <coughs> he said, good question, let me ask. So he asked Divine, can I please have a melody? And they started singing exactly as you've heard now. And so this is how this song came to humanity. It carries extraordinary frequency. And when we chant it three hours on Tuesday evenings to serve humanity, which I invite you to join tonight, then uh, uh, what that in essence is doing is it's purifying, it's clearing out the blockages that separate us from abundance in every aspect of life, which is the, the, uh, the title of today's series. So how is it that we block abundance in every aspect of our life? The short answer is spiritual debt, as I mentioned. <clears throat> but where does spiritual debt come from? It comes from this in previous times. Not all of it's ours. Some of it's ancestral. And so we might complain about that. Oh, why am I paying for my ancestor stuff? Well, if you're wit rich and wealthy and have lots of money, are you complaining that your ancestors did good things that brought you that wealth? Probably not. So that's why. It works both directions. So how do we realign abundance in our life? The first step is a recognition of why we don't have it. Now, we can look at the logical world, which is, um, well, you know, uh, I had an ex, and they dumped on me here, and then they did this, and then my boss fired me, and my boss is a jerk, and nobody likes me. That's called being a victim, and that's called not taking responsibility for the spiritual debt that has shown up in your world in the form of these unpleasant experiences. So it starts with taking responsibility. The second thing that we want to do with it is recognize that we do have control over it by reversing some of the blockages. So yesterday we focused on financial blockages and its relationship to abundance. And we did a practice. And the practice was specifically for the first soul house, which in that's what is called the Master Shah's teachings. In uh, other teachings, it's known as the first chakra. And what many people do not know is that the energy centers of the human body, uh, the energy chakras, the soul houses, however you choose to reflect on them, <coughs> hold a great deal of karmic blockages. And they inhibit the flow of energy. You, uh, most all of you have heard of qi, qi energy, tai chi, qi gong, Okay, um, these qi, the word qi, is energy. So movement of energy is in direct relation to movement of abundance. Movement of energy is in direct relation to health and well-being. When qi flows through our body, blood follows. And so movement of qi is very, very important. The qi movement in the human body has a direct association to the blockages in our seven soul houses, in our seven chakras. And so when we do practices to clear the blockages in our seven soul houses, what in essence are we doing? We're clearing the dark souls. We're clearing the karma. We're clearing what is referred to as Shen, Qi, and Jing blockages that show up uh, from our spiritual debt. So the spiritual debt, no different than mud settling in the bottom of a glass bottle, the mud keeps coming in and it keeps settling and that mud gets higher, 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 and pretty soon we're, we're choking. And so when you do things to clear the spiritual debt, it's kind of like adding water to the top of the mud-filled bottle. When you start pouring in water, the mud starts getting stirred up and released out the top. If you pour in enough water, the mud is completely clear or your karma is completely clear. So to accomplish a perfectly clear slate in one lifetime is what's called pure enlightenment. It's exceedingly uh, difficult to do, but it is possible, and we know masters that have accomplished it. Jesus accomplished it, Buddha accomplished it, many of the, of the great beings that we know of in history have accomplished it, and they did it by doing the practices that we do, including forgiveness. Forgiveness is the way we clear out 
the mud that's settling in our glass bottle, so to speak. And so when we do a forgiveness practice, which we're going to do a little bit later, it's not about how much or how long. It's about the depth and the authenticity. When we do that, we're giving ourselves a chance to have more abundance in our life. What stops the abundance? That spiritual debt that sits in our life in the form of a negative mindset, in the form of a negative attitude or negative belief, or a boss that doesn't like us, or a relationship problem that doesn't seem to go away, or a health issue that doesn't seem to go away. Those have a root. That root is the spiritual debt. And we blame those as our blockage to abundance. We blame it as our blockage to relationship abundance, to financial abundance, to health abundance. We're pointing the finger outside of us. And if we are consistent with the practices that Master Shah has brought to humanity by the utilization of soul power, by recognizing that soul is where the blockages reside and soul power is how you heal and remove those blockages. Soul is where the blockages reside because soul is forever. You do not. And so we incarnate every couple hundred years. We come back again, die, come back again, die, come back again. Isn't this fun? Die, come back again. Who wants to keep suffering forever? Right? Sign me up. Huh? And so nobody wants to suffer forever. So we're all looking for a solution to stop the suffering. And it starts with waking up. And then it starts with following somebody who's figured it out. Master Shah is an enlightened being. And enlightened beings, one of the ways they become enlightened is because they offer unconditional service to others. Part of this master's unconditional service is to teach us step by step how to rise above and out of the, the uh, mud hole we have dug for ourselves. And so any practice that I share with you today is as a result of this master's wisdom and teachings. Um, so let us move forward with the first practice. And um, we're going to work again on releasing the financial blockages. Today we're going to apply it with the heart center. The heart center is uh, the fourth chakra in many teachings. It is a fist-sized energy center. This center is approximately in between the nipples and it's right behind the breastplate, inside approximately two to two and a half inches. And so it's the size of your fist, not my fist. And it's not something that anyone's ever able to physically see, but it is there. And this energy center is one of seven centers through the body. And as the chi flows through the channel, up over the top of the head, back down in front of the spine, it works in this loop. But what if it goes down the spine, hits the first chakra, and gets uh, stagnated? It stops. When chi stops, health issues occur, financial blockages occur, relationship blockages occur. We want our chi to flow. What stops our chi from flowing? Negative karma, spiritual debt. So practices on the seven soul houses is much like blowing up the dams of karma that sit on our river of energy. Our river of energy goes up through the seven soul houses back around. For all of us, all humans were built the same. And so how do we clear those blockages? We do the practices. So when we do the practices to these soul houses, we're clearing some of the spiritual debt. Therefore, the chi can find its way back through and continue to flow. And as we get more flow, we have better thoughts around abundance. We have better thoughts about ourself, which is going to assist our abundance. We have uh, better opportunities to gain financial blessings because we're not pushing it away by negative thinking. That occurs when we have these blockages. Make sense? Good. Let's do a practice together, okay? So, four powers. Sit up straight, feet flat on the ground, back away from the back of the chair. Unless your back is sore, this is always the best body power. Now, depending on the, the practices that we're doing, the hands can be in any number of places. For this practice, we're going to use a soul light era hand position, which is much like a prayer position where we drop the left hand in front of the heart center. This is called a mudra or a hand position. And this connects to the palm, uh, the, the core on the palm, gently to the heart. So don't push against your chest. That stops energy. Very gentle. Uh, the 
right palm points up towards heaven. Now it might look opposite in your video, but left hand on the heart center, right hand gently pointed towards heaven. <clears throat> so this is your body power. Mind power, we're going to visualize golden or rainbow light, whatever you're comfortable with, in the heart center. Where is the heart center? Roughly two inches inside your chest, roughly fist sized. That's mind power. Sound power, I will lead you with different mantras for clearing the blockages in this area. Whatever mantra I chant, you just simply chant with me, okay? Sound power vibrates the area. Hand, uh, body power vibrates the area. Visualization vibrates the area. All three together greatly assist in the clearing of blockages. The most important power is the soul power, and we're going to do that together. So repeat after me. <clears throat> Dear the soul of all of the holy beings, layers of divine Tao and source that are present at this time, I love you, I honor you, and I truly appreciate you being in my life. I am very grateful for all that you have given me, all the protections you have given me. Thank you for saving my life again and again, even though I might not be aware of it. Thank you for all the blessings I have received. Please forgive me for this or any lifetime that I have brought harm or suffering to any souls in all time. If I have physically harmed them, brought harm to them emotionally, caused them to have mental suffering, if I have created financial difficulties, blockages, and suffering. If I have created business karma through unethical dealings. If I have caused others to suffer in relationships. If I have created a lack of abundance for any soul in any aspect of life. I apologize. I deeply and sincerely regret my actions, as it's very clear they were selfish actions. I sincerely apologize and ask for forgiveness for this harm or suffering that I might have created to others. And to all of the souls that have brought these forms of suffering to me in this life, and in every life, I offer you my unconditional forgiveness. I now recognize that the suffering I am experiencing may be as a direct result of me creating that suffering for you first. I offer you my unconditional forgiveness and I ask for yours. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> so this is forgiveness practice. Continue to repeat. To the soul of my message center, my heart center, I love you. You have the ability to release the blockages that inhibit me from having unconditional and tremendous abundance. <clears throat> Please bless me to fully open my heart to be a better servant to humanity, to see abundance in every area of my life, to be grateful for all of the little things that I have never paid attention to, and to surround my thoughts, words, and actions with gratitude. I am very, very grateful. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. I'm going to start by chanting divine forgiveness. As first, we need to release the blockages. And as we chant divine forgiveness in your mind's eye, visualize your heart sending its greatest love to all those souls that you and your ancestors have been disrespectful to in all lifetimes. Because we have created harm and suffering to others. We wouldn't be here on earth if we didn't. If, if we were pure, then we'd be hanging out with Jesus and God right now. So let us 
offer our greatest love as we chant together divine forgiveness. Close your eyes. Visualize clearly. Golden light, rainbow light in your heart center. Divine forgiveness. 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 I forgive you. Please forgive me. <clears throat> Bring love, peace, harmony. Bring love, peace, harmony. I forgive you. Please forgive me. Bring love, peace, harmony. Bring love, peace, harmony. Offer your forgiveness. I forgive you. Please forgive me. Bring love, peace, harmony. Bring love, peace, harmony. I forgive you. Please forgive me. Bring love, peace, and harmony. Bring love, peace, and harmony. <clears throat> we ask the source calligraphy of Da Quan Shu, greatest forgiveness. The countless saints, saints, animals, temple souls, treasures, and blessings in the Da Quan Shu calligraphy to please come to us as we chant Da Quan Shu. Bless us with your greatest forgiveness. Da Quan Shu, Da Quan Shu, Da Quan Shu. Da Quan Shu 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 Greatest forgiveness, greatest forgiveness, greatest forgiveness, greatest forgiveness. Now visualize Money Buddha coming to you. He is laughing and he is dancing in a circle. And he's bouncing on his shoulder the golden bags of money. And he is laughing as he throws it in the air and spreads it to each of us. Let us offer our deepest gratitude to Money Buddha. Countless bow downs, Money Buddha. Countless bow downs, countless bow downs. We ask the source soul song of love, peace, and harmony to offer unconditional service. We ask that all of the souls that are truly in significant financial suffering, where they are ready to lose their homes, where they are literally on the brink of taking their own life, 
because of significant financial sufferings, we ask that as we chant love, peace, and harmony, that you go to them, that you bless their souls, and awaken them that they do not take their life, that they do not choose to make wrong choices on their soul journey. So let us chant for others. Lu la lu la li. Lu la lu la la li. Lu la lu la li lu la. La li lu la. Lu la li lu la. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Lula, lula, li. Lu la lu la la li Lu la lu la li lu la Lu la li lu la Lu la li lu la I love my heart and soul I love all humanity Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. For those that are just joining, we are chanting to serve others that have significant financial blockages, the kind of blockages that they are considering taking their life. Let us chant to serve them. Lu la lu la li, lu la lu la la li, lu la lu la li lu la, lu la li lu la, lu la li lu la. Wo ai wo xin er ling, wo ai tren ren lei, wang ling rong er mu shi shang, song ai ping an he xie, song ai ping an he xie. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. <coughs> Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. <coughs> and now, let us visualize all of the souls that we have harmed in the lack of abundance. We have taken their land. We, in past lives, have done wrong and unethical business dealings with them. Our ancestors could have stolen from them. We could have made many wrong choices in previous times. Let us offer virtue to them through this song. We chant for forgiveness and to serve them. Lu la lu la li, lu la lu la la li, lu la lu la li lu la, lu la li lu la, lu la li lu la. Wo ai wo xin er ling, wo ai tren ren lei, wang li hing rong er mu shi shang, shuang ai ping 
，安和谐，相爱平安和谐。I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. And then repeat after me, dear my own soul, I love you. I truly love you. Please forgive me for not talking to you more. Please forgive me for not realizing that you are the boss of my life, that you are trying to guide me to have more love and abundance in my life. Please forgive me for giving power to my mind instead of you, my beloved soul. Please forgive me for all the lifetimes that I have been misaligned to you and created unnecessary karma for us. Dear my soul, please chant greatest love and da I with me. To serve all the souls that we have harmed, that we might release ourselves of this lack of abundance. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <clears throat> so as we chant the words Da I, which in Mandarin Chinese is greatest love, we send our greatest love. And I invite the countless beings, holy guides, angels, saints, and souls, transmitted to the Da'ai calligraphies to join us at this time to offer their greatest love on our behalf. Thank you. Da'ai, 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 Da I 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 da I. Da I da I da I da I greatest love, greatest love, greatest. Love, greatest love, greatest love, greatest love, greatest love, greatest. Love, da I 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 da. I da I greatest love, greatest love, greatest love, greatest love, great. Greatest love. Gently tap 
your message center. Greatest love, greatest love, greatest love, greatest love, <coughs> greatest love. Da I 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 da Keep your eyes closed. Notice how you're feeling. Your soul has forgiven. Other souls have forgiven. Virtue has been deposited into your virtue bank account in heaven. And your service today to others has been noted. I will offer a short reading to the benefit of today's practice. <clears throat> How? Some may think that in the twenty or so minutes of this chanting that it might not make too much of a difference. But in fact, it has saved the average person here one year of practice had they done it on their own. How is this possible in these 20 minutes? The reason why is because of soul power. Little is understood about the nature of soul, that souls have soul standing that those who stand higher are there because of their service, that when this one called forth all of the holy beings from this temple in Honolulu, that there were more beings than you can count, that their service is a virtue, and that such amounts of virtue has come that it would have taken you each one year of practice to do this by yourself. The importance of this message is that soul power, forgiveness, and love are the keys to abundance. That when you release the blockages around being the source, the victim, the blockage itself, when you recognize that there is help all around you and that there are at this time on earth significant beings, deities, and tools that can be of great assistance to both fulfill the virtue bank and release the spiritual debt, then you fully start to comprehend the power and the significance of soul and its effect on your spiritual journey. My encouragement to each of you is to take to heart the teachings of today, to do this practice more, especially in group and especially through the healing centers brought to this place through the one known as Master Shah. For at centers of this nature reside a great deal of high beings, and they are here to serve you and your soul journey. So it makes sense to take advantage of their proximity to you. This is one of those serving at the level of the Akashic Records. How? 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 Thank you, thank you, thank you.
So thank you, Heaven. Thank you, Tao. Thank you, Source. Please share. What third eye images did you see? Um, did you have any aha moments or insights <clears throat> during this uh, sharing wisdom and practice? Did you go a little bit deeper than maybe you had before? Did you feel anything physically in your body? Vibration at the top of your crown, vibration in your heart center? Did you feel movement of chi through your body? Heat, vibration, um, sweating. These are five sense recognitions of something happening. And unfortunately, until we become more attuned with our original source, the soul world, we are left with these five senses. That's one of the things that Dr. and Master Shah has brought to humanity is how that we can go beyond these five senses and reconnect to our original soul self by clearing the blockages in the seven soul houses, by opening up our heart center, by clearing the blockages in our spiritual channel so that we can see heaven instead of just wondering if they're there. These are the birthright of every human being and we're all in the process of reawakening to that. So we are very blessed to have a significant uh, special being on the planet today that gives us the ABCs of how to do this. So I encourage all of you that are on the newer side <clears throat> to please pay attention to the website www.drsha.com, drshaw.com, um, because from there your soul journey could go through uh, quite a bit of a boost. And I encourage you to continue to come back to my live streams. Uh, I do have um, services that are available like soul readings and blessings that can transform your financial blockages. Uh, briefly, I mentioned them yesterday. There are two crown chakras available. One is for aligning your thoughts and your perspective to God's perspective on abundance. And do you think God's perspective on abundance is scarcity? Do you think God's perspective on abundance is fear? Do you think it's anything that is negative? So to be able to align your perspective to the divine's perspective is not a small uh, blessing. And in essence, a crown chakra blessing clears the Shen Qi Jing spiritual debt karmic blockages that inhibit you from having those kinds of thought processes. And, and it plants uh, all of the uh, messages that, that, that represent how the divine thinks. And so that's one of the blessings. That one's uh, on the top end because it's, it's very potent. The other one is re releasing negative mindsets, attitudes, and beliefs around abundance. And so some of us carry a lot of negativity around that, and we just, we need that. So this second one I mentioned, the honor fee is 100. The first one I mentioned, the honor fee is double that because it's far more extraordinary. I actually paid more um, when I got mine. Uh, so Kristen says, let's see, Jenny Brown says, I did see Ganesh. Uh, blue and cartoon-like, also something um, crusted with decorations. Wonderful. Thanks for sharing, Jenny. Ganesha, you know, the destroyer of blockages. Great. Glad he was here. Tatiana says, thank you. You're very welcome. Kristen has put the link in there for drshaw.com. And Kristen Strachan has said, I do feel peaceful and not so tired. Again, with the teeth feeling sensitive. I guess you were right. It is his frequency. Yes, definitely it's frequency-based tell you, I've been around that, that road way too many times. Um, so thank you for this practice. It's very valuable, all the love and blessings. Uh, you're very welcome, Kristen. It's funny because uh, I've had this, this uh, teeth uh, ache thing ever since I've come into these, these frequencies around Master Shah. Um, it's, does not, it's not painful. It's more like uh, sensitive. Yeah, it's like, like for you. So I'm glad to know I'm not alone. I thought I was the only one that had that. <laughs> now I know when the holy beings are around because they, they're always tickling my face. One time I was doing a, um, a, um, a massage for one of the, one of the um, masters. And they looked at me and they said, do you feel that? And I said, what? And they said, there's, there's all these holy beings that are always, they're running their hands through your face like this. And like, do you see that? And I'm like, no, I don't see it. And like, do you feel it? I said, yeah, I feel it all the time. It feels like they're tickling my nose. Um, and they said, I'm not quite sure what they're doing, but they're oh, they're doing that. So, um, so Kristen has posted uh, a link to how soul healing works. If you want to know more about my services, uh, CJ. Wow, I saw the blessed sacrament opening great light. Thank you so much. Absolutely, directly related to the heart center. So great vision there, CJ. 
Uh, Kathy says she felt warmer. Thank you. You're very welcome, Kathy. So, in, a, uh, in conclusion, <clears throat> today and yesterday, we focused very much on financial blockages. All blockages impact our abundance. There is, of course, mindsets, attitudes, and beliefs that impact them. There's mindsets that have to do with a scarcity mentality, uh, not enough. You know, sometimes we have money, but we're not willing to share it because we wonder if we're going to have some next week or next year. It's when we give without any expectation of return, give of our time, give of food, give of money, give of our service. It's when we give that we're, we're telling the universe, I have enough. I've always had enough. I know that I, I, the individual, is not responsible for what comes to me, that it is uh, the divine and my allowing of that. And you can allow more of it by making sure you continually clear the chi blockages in the seven soul houses. <clears throat> uh, Jenny says she she's, has some tingling on the top of her head. That's excellent. That's reflective of the chi flowing through the seven soul houses. Suki Singh says, Blood Master Paul, she saw white light everywhere, and we are blessed in abundance. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Did anybody see Money Buddha showering coins on us? So Chelsea says, a deeper meditation state every time, feeling much lighter and happier, and energy gets higher with each practice. And laugh out loud. That's awesome. Yeah, each practice can do that. Those who are consistent can do that. Um, I see some people show up that, that only show up once in a while. And my invitation to you in Honolulu is to come to Master Shah's Tao Healing Center. Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays, both in person and online, are complimentary. They're free. How can you beat the price? What are you doing when you bring yourself to the webcast or here in person? You're basically standing in a shower of light. You're standing in a shower of virtue. What is virtue? It's good karma. What is that doing to your spiritual debt? It's washing it away. And it's free. Do you really need more information than that? So make sure that you uh, come Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursday evenings. We are here to serve you. We have special events on the weekends. They open your spiritual channels. They do significant blessings to open your heart center, to clear relationship blockages. The weekend workshops are the get down and dirty, clear the blockages stuff. And they have a little bit of honor fee associated with them. But during the week, you still get huge, huge, huge blessings. So make sure you go to drshaw.com and events and click on anything in the Honolulu area. Maybe Kristen can find a general Honolulu link and, and put that up there for you. Um, so, as we wrap up, uh, Kathy says that she feels things more than she sees. That's uh, pretty normal for most of us. Um, Jenny says, kind of like the Sultan and Aladdin. I don't know who the Sultan and Aladdin is, but I'll go with that. Lori says, I have to listen at work. I can't wait to go home and listen again and again. What a blessing. Yeah, it's very true. Thank you, Divine, for allowing your wisdom to flow through me. And uh, Chelsea says, yes, money Buddha showered us all. Definitely did. Definitely did. So we're very blessed to have, uh, have the opportunity to have Facebook live stream that I can serve you all complimentary. Thank you, thank you, thank you to Facebook and Facebook live stream. Thank you to all the holy beings at this uh, Master Shah's Tao Healing Center. We call it a temple because those of us with third eye, those of us who are in the know, we can see heaven's always all, all around here. <clears throat> so we refer to it as a temple because that's respectful of, of the power that's here. But it's a healing center to anybody else that doesn't know better. <clears throat> and uh, so I thank you to all of those here. Thank you to my spiritual teacher, Father Master Shah. We thank Divine Tao and Source. Love you, love you, love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And we'll see you tomorrow, same time, same place. Bye-bye, everybody.